She ran into a challenge and conquered it. Betsy Osgood, excuse me, Betty Osgood is a seamstress who stitched together a, quite a career. Joe Carroll introduces us to this week's Super Senior. New Hampshire is not any college town. It's home to an Ivy Leaguer, Dartmouth College. The institution is steeped in tradition. It's so is Lou's. An eatery since the 40s, where townies and the elite meet. Edna's has always been such a good friend. In three days a week, Edna Pierce and Betty Osgood get together at the corner table. They've been doing it for decades. It's a special time to get together. Yeah, why not? Edna grew up in England, Betty in Vermont. They became friends working at the same clothing store in town. They bonded immediately. She's a lovely person. Thank you, Edna. She's a lovely person inside and out. The coffee clutch is a time to catch up on the latest news. You better drink some coffee before it gets cold. So, you know, you're a Vermont Oh, woman. yeah, I'm a Vermonter, right. Over Please in go. New Hampshire, though. Uh, huh? You're coming over to Well, the... I have to to get my greenies. <laughs> <laughs> bye, yeah, bye. Time for work. Time for work, yep. Betty makes her money just down the block from Lou's. She owns Betty's Alterations. Good morning. Being the only seamstress in town, she's busy. You already have business at the door. Oh, yeah, they are always leaving things. Her business is 10 by 10. It's all the room she needs. Betty went to work after she divorced. The North Thetford woman needed the income, but she hadn't worked outside of the house since she was a young woman. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I was nervous. She learned the art of alteration at Campion's, a longtime Hanover landmark. I remember the boss, when he hired me, he said, well, if you've had seven children, that's good enough for me. But when Campion's closed, Betty was in her early 80s and had to make a choice. Go out on her own or retire. It was an easy decision. I don't know how, really, how I'd get up in the morning and not have anything to, to do. Have I got something for you? I do, don't I? Now customers trickle in and there's no need to advertise. All right, there that is. is 15, please. Okay. What, you got something else for me? Betty's 88. She doesn't know if she'll travel the 20 miles from home to her business next winter. I don't know, everybody says, I don't know what we're gonna do when you get done. You can't even get a pair of pants hemmed, and you can't in Hanover. But for now, Betty has the market, well, sewed up. Bye-bye. <laughs> Joe Carroll, Channel 3 News, Hanover, New Hampshire. How about Betty? Yeah.